Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to the Android Apps Weekly Show. This is episode number 141, and we have a ton of Google I.O. stuff to talk about, so let's get started. It has been officially announced that Android apps are coming to Chromebooks. This feature will roll out sometime later this year and it should include well over a million apps and games. It won't be available for all Chromebooks as older models will be getting the shaft, but this is a big deal for the OS as a whole. Google also announced Allo and Duos, a couple of new messaging applications meant to be used in tandem. Duos is a one-on-one -on -one video chatting service while Allo is a text messaging service that includes smart features from Google Assistant. Allo will have encryption in both apps applications seem to be packed full of features. We'll know more about them when they get released later this year, but you can sign up for the pre-registration now. This will be alongside Hangouts, which is reportedly not going anywhere. Android Wear 2.0 was announced at Google I.O., and you may be wondering why this is being featured in an app news roundup. That's because the new operating system will allow applications to be installed and run natively on the watch without a phone companion, which will make watches standalone devices instead of just companion devices. And that is very exciting. The Google Play app awards were conducted at Google I.O. this week. Some of the winners include Clash Royale taking the best game, Pokemon Shuffle Mobile taking the Go Global award, and the best application was House, which is an interior design application. All of the games were freemium, which was kind of disappointing considering how many great paid games there are, but the applications were pretty decent if you want to check those out. Pokemon Go is now open for beta registration for people in the United States. Signing up for the beta has no assurance that you'll actually get in, but it is an opportunity to try the application out before everybody else. The good news is that even if you don't get selected for the beta, you can still get an email notification when the game is widely available. If you want the link to that, we'll have it in the written companion, which is linked in the video description below. For even more Android apps and games news, check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. Google I.O. was a huge event and there are a ton of I.O. and non-Google I.O. announcements that we didn't have time for that you should definitely check out. If you'd like, you can sign up for the newsletter using the form in the written companion, which is linked in the video description below, and we'll send you that newsletter every Sunday. Or you can download the Android Authority app and get the latest news as quickly as it comes out. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check out any of these apps or games, we'll have those links for you in the video description below. Poncho is a cute little weather application. The application is designed around its cartoon characters and delivery system of the weather in a way that is a little more colorful and fun. Below the style, it features twice daily weather forecasts, public transit alerts, hourly forecasts, and alerts for things like high pollen, allergy, and humidity conditions. It'll also give you tips for the weather, like whether or not you should bring an umbrella. It's free to download, but you'll have to sign up for the beta first by clicking at the link below. Playbook by Google Play is a developer-oriented application that helps you learn the ins and outs of the development atmosphere on Google Play. It has lists of things like best practices, tips on how to increase the quality and usability of your app, and tips on how to publish and distribute your app. Please note, bugging the Android Authority app guy on Google Plus is not one of those suggestions. It's done up in beautiful material design, which is a nice plus. It's also in beta right now, and you can join the beta by clicking the link in the video description below. Assassin's Creed Identity is the long-awaited action RPG that was finally released earlier this week. For those who don't know, Identity is a game that takes place in the Assassin's Creed universe but gives you the ability to create your own characters and go on a variety of adventures. It features open world mechanics, various controller options, and plenty of content to enjoy. There have been a few release bugs and it seems like people aren't overly happy with the third party controller supports, but otherwise the reviews have been generally positive. Spaces is a new initiative from Google that's kind of baked into Google+. The idea is that you can set up a space for a specific topic, people then join, and then everyone can post about that topic or just talk to other people who enjoy that same topic. Think of it like collections on Google+, except everyone can contribute instead of just one person curating everything. It's a nifty idea and it comes with its own application so you don't have to go through Google+, all the time. Vector 2 was released earlier this week. For those who've never played the first vector, the game revolves around parkour-themed platforms mechanics and you must escape from the proverbial man in order to remain free. It features minimal silhouetted graphics, simple controls, and you can even do stuff like stunts when you jump. It's a fun little time killer that adds some depth and length from the previous title and it ends up being a better overall experience. It has some early bugs, but nothing to get angry about. 
And that about does it for this video, folks. If you want to watch more, we have a ton of Google I.O. videos on the channel and Crystal's Android Wear 2.0 video linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.